All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to do a mail merge for envelopes. The first thing that you wanna do is create an Excel spreadsheet with all of the data that you're gonna need for your envelopes. For instance, I've got name, address, city, state, zip, and then my return address, city, state, and zip. You'll notice that I have it so that I've got, um, these are all fake names that I've put in here except for a few. Um, and then I've got um, an address that I've made up uh, city state zip um, and these are all variable depending on you know who the user is uh, you want to make sure that you have the column heading though like name address city state and zip just like I have it because um, that's how the mail merge is going to read your data once we start doing the mail merge so let's just get right to it once you have your data set up you'll open up a word document you'll click on the, mail the uh, mailings tab you'll go to start mail merge and you'll select envelopes. It's going to ask me about envelope printing options. I usually just select the default. And you'll notice it kind of looks like an envelope now. The next thing you want to do is import your data from your Excel spreadsheet. To do that you'll go to select recipients, use existing list, and then my list is located in my BU files so I'm going to locate that. and I know that the data is on the first tab of my spreadsheet. You'll notice I didn't get any kind of notification that my data has been imported, but the address block, greeting line, and insert merge field are now available for me to use as well as edit recipient list. And so you'll notice that, um, and this is just, I just brought this up to show you what it looks like. And this is all the data from my Excel spreadsheet. So the first thing you want to do is I'm going to click down here where the address box is. I'm going to go to insert merge field and I'm going to select name. You'll notice it's just put a placeholder for name there and that's just going to be my variable field for my Excel spreadsheet. And remember this is the first column of my spreadsheet that I showed you. I'll hit enter. I'll hit insert merge field and then I'll put in the address of the recipient. I'll hit enter again insert merge field city I'll put a comma in a space insert merge field state in a space and then insert merge field and zip notice it looks very similar to what you would put if you were to address uh, address someone on a regular envelope now if I click preview results as you can see it's got the first set of data from my Excel spreadsheet and if I click this right arrow up here, it lets me preview other results from my Excel spreadsheet. So I'm going to go back to the first ones and I'm going to unclick preview results. So again, you can notice it's just, it just has the placeholders for name, address, city, state, and zip. Now I need to put in my return address. So I'm going to select in the upper left hand corner. I'm going to put insert merge field and return address. And then the same thing, return city, return state, and the return zip code. And then again, if I click preview results, you'll see it has my return address up there. And of course, the return address isn't going to change no matter which record I put, but I at least want to check them to make sure that they're all correct, in which they are. So I'm satisfied with my results, so now it's time to actually print them. So to do that, you're going to go to finish and merge and then print documents and then you're going to print all of them and then it's going to bring up uh, what printer you want to send it to I don't currently have a printer installed where I would print envelopes but if I did I would select it from my list of printers and usually I just go with what the default options are the one thing you want to make sure is that when you print them that it is set so that your printer will print on the envelopes face up because that is the default option for printing envelopes when doing a mail merge in Microsoft Word once you're satisfied with all of your settings, you'll click OK, and it will go ahead and print your envelopes. And that's how you do a mail merge for envelopes.